Alright, how's it going everybody? So I am back and doing a brand new video. So this is going to be on the uh, topic of the Sports Illustrated uh, magazine covers. Um, I'm going to be having those in the background here while I'm talking about those. So if you guys see all three covers uh, as the uh, background of my video, uh, that is why this is going on. So um, we get three new covers. We get one with Ronda Rousey, which is attractive, and I would totally probably pick that up if I had money for that. Um, we have one with Haley Coulson, which she's an absolutely stunning and gorgeous uh, supermodel. Um, I really do feel like this was the intended sort of cover photo because, um, like, last year we got Hannah Davis, and Hannah Davis was a little bit risque. Um, it was a little bit raunchy, but, I mean, people still enjoyed that uh, magazine cover. I mean, I thought it was a really good, attractive um, magazine cover. But this year we also have one with sort of a more busty girl, one with also more curves, and that is because of the SJWs. Um, nobody's mentioning this. Nobody's really talking about this. Um, I always thought it was weird that SI or Sports Illustrated would decide to go this route and decide to make three different magazine covers. And I mean, from a business standpoint, it does kind of make sense. Um, it makes sense in a way because if they have three different covers, uh, they're going to appease multiple different crowds. But at the same time, Playboy did the sort of thing recently. They're like, oh, we're not going to any more do some do their nude models. Um, they're going to go away with the new models. And while I don't really give a shit because I can look up porn and uh, get the same factor from that, it's still a little bit weird that a magazine that's always done kind of the nude photos and stuff and always had really attractive women on their uh, covers and things like that decides to step down from that and do sort of the Sports Illustrated thing where they have models come on and do kind of like sexy covers or do sexy um, articles for their magazines. I feel like this is kind of a degrading part of society is that because you're too beautiful you're ashamed for that beauty or because you have too much curves uh, people won't like you for that. I feel like if we were really treating this as an equal sort of thing here we would appreciate the beauty for what it is and it's art. Um, there's been nude people in art for like centuries. Hell, in video games there's nude people. Hell, even in porno there's nude people. Hell, in movies, there's n new people in magazines and stuff like that as well. So, for them to go out and be like, oh, we can't do this because in this day and age, the SJWs will get mad at us because we have three different cover girls and not one of them's a curvy girl or, like, a fighter that kind of resembles, like, female empowerment and everything. We can't have that. We have to have those things. Otherwise, we can't sell this cover. And I think it's just sad because I really do feel like they're intended cover was going to be Haley Coulson. Um, I really do feel like she was the intended cover girl and she was going to be the single cover girl for that cover. But because of the situation with the SJWs and with them kind of screwing things up within the industry of um, art and entertainment, that's why we have three of them. And nobody's bringing up this opinion. Nobody's kind of brought up this topic. And it's sad that I have to be the one to kind of address this because... I feel like this is a growing issue. We've got an all-female Ghostbusters, as I've just done a trailer for that. We've got an all-male Ghostbusters now because of that. Feminism is really destroying creativity within the movie industry. And until somebody sort of makes videos about this, until a lot of people get kind of annoyed and like, we're not going to stand for this anymore, they're going to continue to like plague our industry. They're going to continue to bitch, moan, and complain until somebody says something about it and somebody does something about it, which is why I have to make this video. Um, now, I believe that women should be equal. I believe that women should have the same amount of pay. If a woman's doing the same job that a man is doing, she should be paid the same amount as a man. But don't tell someone they can't buy something like Dead or Alive 3 Extreme Beach Volleyball. Don't tell someone they can't buy a magazine cover that they like or can even look at that. Because let's face it, women, especially feminists, look and objectify men the way that they are telling men not to objectify women. It's a two-way street here. Either you objectify men or you don't. Or you objectify women or you don't. It's not sort of like this one-track thing where the feminists yell at other people for doing that, but they can do it. That's wrong. That goes against what they're trying to preach to everybody and trying to make a parent and it's a backwards way of thinking because oh I can do something you can't and if you do that thing that I don't like I'm gonna get mad at you for that 
it, it, it's really disappointing. So, my thoughts on the three Sports Illustrated covers. I like the Haley Olsen one, or the Haley Colson one. I like the uh, Ronda Rousey one, but the one with the woman in the curves, while yes, she's attractive, she's a beautiful woman, it is not necessary. You don't need three SI covers for Sp Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Magazine every single year. I hope this is kind of a one-time thing, and they don't kind of look at this and be like, well, these magazines sold well because we have three different covers. We're going to start doing this on every single one of our covers. Because that's not going to save what's going on here. So that's my whole thought process on this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this, like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.